steel and alloy of iron, carbon and other elements, the supporting pillar of most modern manufacturing and production industries of the modern world, is an extremely versatile material. Used in the production of about every kind of good or machinery, its history dates back to as early as 1800 BC. But its large-scale industrial use began only after more efficient methods were devised in the 17th century. People are in a constant search for lighter and stronger materials, and steel has evolved through the years to become the answer. Today, steel is one of the most common man-made materials in the world, with more than 1.6 billion tons produced annually. From shipping containers to skyscrapers to turbines, good old steel is still the workhorse of our modern world. Now scientists are discovering new secrets to make the metal better, lighter and stronger. Lighter materials tend to be weaker and stronger materials tend to be more brittle. In the 1970s, Soviet researchers discovered that adding aluminum, a less dense metal to the mix when creating steel, can make an incredibly strong and lightweight metal. But this new steel was unavoidably brittle. Scientists soon realized the problem. When creating the aluminum steel alloy, they were occasionally fusing atoms of aluminum and iron together to form tough, brittle crystals called B2. Researchers added nickel, which caused the aluminum compound to permeate the metal in nanometer-sized clusters. The surrounding alloy insulated them from splintering, thus making it stronger and less brittle than conventional steel. Where the new metal really shines is in its cost. This new metal has a strength to weight ratio that matches even our best titanium alloys, but at one tenth the cost and can be created on a small scale with machinery already used to make automotive grade steel. There are dislocations in metal crystals which weaken it. A way around this is to impede the movement of these dislocations. This is done by strain hardening. Repeated deformations drive these dislocations through the metal until they form dislocation tangles and the motion is impeded. Another method is age hardening. This involves water quenching red hot metal and leaving it aside for a while. This method is used in the making of 17 pore stainless steel which has specific applications in the petroleum, chemical industries and also in aircraft parts. Nowadays there have been breakthroughs in steel making technology that have deeply affected manufacturing. Modumetal is making alloys using steel in a very different way. This method is inspired from the ancient steel making methods that samurais used to make their swords. They hammered the metal and folded it repeatedly. This new steel is layered metal that is grown using electric fields. This steel is highly corrosion resistant and can last not only for years but generations. There is still immense potential for developing new grades of steel with varying properties. Steel has enjoyed an important position in our lives and will continue to do so in the years to come.